Thank you for joining Power Apps Solutions in Minutes. This is our second video. And so uh, what we're going to do here is name the new app that we're building within our solution. We'll just call it MyCRM. And we'll give it a description that gives it some context as to what its purpose is. We'll keep the same icon. This is the standard out of the box icon from Microsoft. Perfectly fine. You can use your own if you have a uh, PNG or JPEG, whatever works for you. And so after we do that, now we have an app. So after this, the key step is to go to the sitemap and start configuring the navigation. Now, of course, this navigation that we're going to build together might not be ideal, but it is conceptual and helps you understand um, the flexibility that you have. So we'll just create an area called customers, and then within that area, we'll create a group called prospects. We'll create another group simply by clicking the add button from the context of where we were so whatever layer you are at that group is now customers and of course you have a new sub area that we're going to go ahead and populate with an entity in this particular case and that entity is going to be now You'd think it would be the lead, but given that out of the box you don't have access to the lead, we'll go ahead and connect it to the contact. I think that's perfectly fine. And then customers, we'll just assume that contacts are people and customers are accounts and slash businesses. So maybe this is a B2B situation. And what we're going to do here is encourage that. And yet we're using the Dataverse. So we're not licensing anything to Dynamics 365. All we're doing is creating some sort of navigation app so that people can do their work productively and effectively. Uh, the next area is going to go ahead and be my work. Now, the concept behind my work is, okay, well, every day I show up at work and what am I supposed to do, right? I have my customers. I know that my contacts are Joe Schmo and John Smith and so and so, and my customers are businesses. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, go ahead and create a daily activities um, area, or I should say group. And within that daily activities area, I'll add a sub area. And in that sub area, I'll go ahead and create some sort of relationality there that makes sense so let's add some activities you know things like phone calls like emails um, notes etc and then I'll go ahead and add a couple other things like email messages um, you know shoot why don't I add you know phone calls let's go ahead and add phone calls to this thing Okay, so now that we have this in place, then I feel like creating another area or group, I should say. And when I created that group, I'm going to go ahead and make that the reporting group. And that reporting group is fundamentally very simple. It's just a dashboard. And, and so what I've done here successfully and that anybody in the um, Power Platform ecosystem that is a colleague can do is create an app that serves the interests of the clientele and in this case we want to make sure that that person is able to get some value out of the application and so what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and add you know some random dashboard you may not populate any information but might as well show it and with that being said now we have the dashboards we have our daily activities we have our customer section and we can start generating contacts and uh, customers or slash accounts. 
Uh, while I'm in here, you know, I could, in theory, modify the different forms and views, charts, and dashboards that I'm uh, working with. But for now, just keep it simple. Here's my solution. Obviously, everything I want to do within a solution, I'll publish all the customizations. And publishing all those customizations has now given me an app that I can use to deliver value to my organization. Now, did I have to go out and buy a Dynamics uh, 365 sales professional license? No, no. Um, I was able to leverage out of the box Dataverse uh, tables and uh, columns to be able to pursue this vision. So with that being said, I now have this app. I opened it up. Okay, great. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Let's open up our new app, My CRM. And here we have our navigation that we built together. So I have some sample data in here for contacts, some sample data in here for accounts. And if I open up a record, I can see data about it. Very good. Okay, great. And if I switch areas, I can work on activities. I can deal with email messages if I needed to. Um, if there's phone calls to be had or for me to track, I can look at that. And of course, if the organization inside dashboard added any information to um, produce, then of course I would have some information here. But uh, that's about it.